Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to tell you a little about this fellowship. This is a distinguished audience. It's actually wonderful to have the students here. I am very, very grateful to a lot of people for making this possible. One is the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Sterling Spearin, the wonderful staff, have made this possible. I want to thank Governor Granholm and her terrific staff for inviting us to Michigan, for their encouragement, for their assistance, for their time, for their commitment. Let me tell you a little about this fellowship and the reasons we're doing it. There's a lot of research that shows the most effective way to help students in classrooms, in schools, is to have a really good teacher. And what we're trying to do with this program is four things. The first is we want to provide excellent teachers to high need urban and rural schools. And we want to do it in those subjects in which they most need teachers, math and science. We want to attract very able people, like the students sitting in this room, to go into careers in teaching. We want to create what's called a road scholarship for teachers. And you know what? We want those people, once they're in schools, to stay in schools. We want to retain them. And we want to transform teacher education in Michigan. We want to develop the model programs the kinds of programs that will prepare a new breed of teachers for the students in this room. Those are teachers with the ability to really help you perform. What we're talking about are teachers who are going to work in school systems that are demanding the highest levels of skills and knowledge in history to the most diverse students ever to attend those schools. Now, our fellowship is going to be open to individuals who come from any number of high-performing backgrounds. Maybe they're college seniors. Maybe they're recent graduates. Maybe they've just changed careers or they need a new job. We want them to have studied math and science before they go to graduate school. And if they do this, we're going to give them $30,000 fellowships to attend a one-year graduate or master's program in teacher education. And when they complete that, we're going to ask them to spend three years teaching in Michigan, in an urban or a rural school. And we're going to give them three years of intensive mentoring. We're going to work with them to help them develop their teaching skills. Now, the universities that are going to participate in this program, they're really going to be asked to develop model programs. We're going to ask them to develop programs that will serve as a beacon not only to Michigan, but to the country. We're going to ask for outcome-based, evidence-driven programs focusing on the ability to raise the achievement of students. We want those programs to be in the schools. They're going to be clinically based. We want them developed by education schools and arts and sciences colleges. We want them taught by professors and expert teachers. And you know what? We want joint programs that will work with those teachers in mentoring by the schools, by the universities. In Michigan, we're going to work with six universities. And they're going to produce 120 math and science teachers a year. That doesn't sound like a very big number. But let me tell you, in terms of its scale, that's enough science teachers to fill every math and science vacancy in Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Benton Harbor, and even make a major contribution to Detroit. The Teaching Fellowship focuses on states. And they were chosen because Education America is organized, funded, and governed at the state level. And even more important, states have a larger impact than any other unit. Small numbers make a surprising difference. And on top of that, we can watch these changes spread to every university in the state. Why Michigan? Michigan has extraordinary leadership in Governor Granholm and in the Kellogg Foundation, a strong track record and commitment to improving education in the state. What Michigan also has is enormous capacity 
There are 34 teacher education programs, several at the most eminent universities in the state. There's the academic strength to create the models. We're not going to have to settle for universities. We're going to have great universities to work with, and the need is large. The educational aspirations of the governor and the foundation match the program. We talked about an achievement gap. And that gap is a difference in performance among students by their race, by their income, by their location. It's large in this state. Both the foundation and the governor are seeking to raise high school graduation rates, college attendance rates, and completion rates from college. At present, Michigan trails the nation in those areas. We're not graduating enough African Americans or Latinos, and only one out of five students who start school in Detroit finish. There's also a severe shortage of qualified math teachers in this state. We're losing too many teachers. Three out of every eight first-year teachers are going to leave by the end of the year. And those numbers are even higher in the highest need districts in the state. And also those are districts the least qualified and the least experienced teachers. At Woodrow Wilson, we are honored, we are deeply honored to enter a partnership with Governor Granholm and the Kellogg Foundation. And we're gonna launch a program that's gonna increase the quantity, that'll enhance the quality, and it'll improve the preparation of math and science teachers in Michigan. And the reason to do that is that your futures depend upon it. Thank you. And now let me introduce my friend and colleague, Sterling Spirin.